Hello and welcome to the Will Bailey Fishing Show. Today there's no fishing, unfortunately. Um, it is pretty dire out there. Now, I am not a complete fair weather fisherman. But I ain't going to go out when it's like this. So uh, today, a little bit of a special treat for you guys. I am going to show you how to build a rig or two. So I'm going to show you a couple of rigs uh, that I, uh, I like to make. I know there are many, many others um, that we can do. Um, but, and I'm going to possibly look into doing that in the future. Um, but uh, different, more complex kind of rigs, different rigs. Um, but um, way overdue, bit of bit of a, uh, a rig cleanup session to start with. So uh, this is um, the two setups that I used from my last video down by the Seven Bridge, and I'm going to check them over, um, have a little look, and see if they need um, any attention. And it's all looking good on the flapper rig. So we'll start off with a paternoster. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take about four foot of my shock leader. And I'm going to take some crimps. So I'm going to make um, a three hook flapper. So we're going to take um, the first at about 10 inches. Give that a good firm crimping. Check that, looks pretty good. Pretty simple these rigs. Um, on with a bead, crimp, bead, swivel, bead, crimp. Check that one, that looks all right. Now, be careful with some of these, uh, the size of these um, crimps. They can be a little bit tight, a bit small, <coughs> so that it literally the, uh, the bead there was gonna go through that. Once you crimp it, it creates a, a nice, um, snug fit there so that it's not going to slide up and down there. Um, the idea with the the crimps and the beads and the swivels is as, as opposed to a dropper loop. Dropper loops are fine. I found that they tangle very easily. These are a little bit more forgiving. Um, you, you can use, um, uh, I think they call them French booms or so, like extended pieces of wire that come out from there. Um, but these come, come, come away from the line quite well. Once it's sat on the uh, on the seabed there, it's um, it's quite free free swinging. So we'll get the other two on. So there we have the completed uh, rig body with the three crimp bead swivel bead crimps. As you can see, 
And we're just going to get some trace on these now. Okay, so I'm going to take um, about eight inches, just over, allow for the knots. And start tying those on. I'm using a, a blood knot here. The total beginners uh, on the um, swivel there. Feed it through. I hold. I pinch that with uh, my finger and thumb around the main line. So you grasp in this in your in this hand and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six seven 20 pound line I find that's enough bring it through the loop at the begin right by the swivel so like so um, and what you want to do um, is uh, I normally grab that with my teeth and at the same time give it a little bit of lubrication because otherwise you might the friction might cause the the line to burn so a little bit of saliva on that and then just pull gently cinching it down and then again carry on cinching pulling it down tight and that ain't going nowhere once that's dry as well that won't slip so just uh, cut off the tag end leaving a tiny bit there just for an eventuality that it might slip a tiny amount more and there we have a nice um, trace there for one of the one of the flapper sections. Um, it's a good idea to make sure whichever end your lead is going to be. I've made it so that um, the, the top end where it's going to go onto your um, onto your uh, your shock leader. Is slightly shorter and then slightly longer gap down towards the lead there so that we can make our trace shorter than the main rig body that goes down to the lead it's obviously um, down by the lead there it's going to get nasty tangles down there so we'll just I'll carry on um, completing the uh, the rig with traces and I'll show you the next step Okay, next we're going to um, tie on a, a clip. This clip got a couple of different types here. Um, I believe this one is for an up and, up and over rig. Um, not done up and overs before I do plan on looking into uh, that style of rig it's a bit like the pulley rig except um, slightly longer trace I think uh, we're going to go with this one which is just a, a, a basic clip um, I'm going to whack that on um, where are we okay so again another blood knot now you can do a slightly modified blood knot where, uh, whereby you, uh, you take the clip. I find that heavier line um, requires less turns. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four on this one. Four or five I'd say is, is plenty. Back through the loop on the clip and then again, take it back round and through the main section there. Again, grab it with your teeth or something, lubricate it, finish it up. And then I didn't say on the, the last blood knot, but um, when you pull in, you might need to pinch that down a little bit with your, um, with your fingers and then cinch down again keep going so there we go and with that it kind of eliminates any possible slippage there we go so that's the top of the rig body there and then 
can come down. Got one, two, three traces. We're going to adjust the length of those traces, obviously, um, to coincide with uh, the width between the the, um, the flapper sections. So here we have the rig body. You need to make sure that the trace is going to be shorter than it um, to the next trace. Obviously, for obvious reasons, you don't want it to get tangled around the next trace there. And um, we're going to put on a. I'm going to put a slightly smaller hook on them than I normally do. I'm going to put. I think this is a size one. Get that one on. So there we have it. One flapper rig. Or AKA Paternoster. And then all we need to do now is to get um, another clip. You can use these fast links here, like so. My take on a three hook flapper, as you can see, possibly, uh, if they do get tangled, it's just a matter of um, either pulling it straight or just giving them a little tug and they will come free there onto a, a lead weight there like that. Now what I like to do is to take a couple of sheets of blue roll and then taking the, the rig just to very gently being careful not to, to hook yourself, to wind that up. Like so. Place it nice and as neatly as possible on there. And I just fold that up. to get a little label and just to jot down the rig on on the label here so <coughs> we have three times flapper Size one, twenty pound trace. I used to put these in a a little Ziploc bag, but get yourself a little rig wallet there. Um, keep my pulleys at the front, flappers at the back. So we'll whack that in there all ready to go for the next fishing session. So, we'll start on the pulley rig now. I put an imp uh, on the bottom where the lead weight will go. We need to uh, take about three foot two and a half, three feet of the main rig body. And we're going to put the bead on and a, uh, a sliding bead, swivel bead here. And I'll 
whack another bead on there for good measure. Okay, then we're going to put on a swivel. Going to use uh, the secure blood knot style because when we're launching these out, we're putting a huge amount of st uh, strain on the on the rig there. <coughs> Cinch that up. So there we have imp beads, sliding bead down to the swivel. You need to make sure that your trace is not any longer than the um, the main rig body. And we'll tie that on to the other end of the swivel. It's as easy as that. Quite a simple rig. So you're beaten and battered lead goes on here. This obviously goes to your main line, your, your shock leader. Put your bait on and hook that down like so and it's all one very neat rig body for you to cast out. Um, like I said because that's the trace is shorter than the the main rig body there it's able to um, take the tension on the hook there. So when that gets lobbed out, hopefully it'll come nice and streamlined, hit the seabed at the, the, the surface of the, the sea. Um, the pressure of the water will push this imp up and release your trace, which will basically um, swing freely into the current. There we are, obviously when we, uh, we bring that in. Nice and easy. Well, another episode of the Will Bailey Fishing Show. Done. Cheers for watching. I hope that's been useful for some people out there, um, possibly just getting into sea fishing couple of very basic rigs there for you to uh, get stuck into. Um, if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you like it. Cheers for watching again. See you next time hopefully out on the on the shores um, weather permitting. Like I said not a, a particularly a fair weather fisherman but um, I ain't going when it's just constantly raining like this so um, Look forward to the next uh, next trip and I'll see you out there. Cheers guys.